This is hard to remember all this stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you're studying for this right now, I feel kind of bad for you. <laughs> so as an incoming medical student here in the US, the journey to get here was pretty difficult. Having to take the MCAT exam, get good grades, do extracurriculars. But being Indian, I also have a lot of friends and family that are pursuing the same medical career in India. And I've heard a lot of stories about this notorious NEAT exam. So, as someone who's taken the MCAT exam and scored above the 90th percentile, I was wondering how difficult this exam really was, so I decided to take it. And that was a bad decision. Now I'm not going to go into way too much detail about how it compares to the MCAT because I'm going to do that in next week's video. But today I just wanted to take the exam and record my initial reactions to it. So I found this question paper online, I think it's the NEAT 2020 exam. And all that I know is that it has biology, chemistry, and physics. <laughs> That's all I know about it. So what I've done is taken about 10 questions from each section on the NEAT and we're going to score those and then see how well I do in each section. Also, it's been over a year since I've taken the MCAT. so. I've probably forgotten a lot of this material, but let's find out. Okay, so this is the cover page, I guess. So let's open this up. And question one, which of the following is not an attribute of the population? Okay, so I think this is like the biology section. I think that is one. Um, natality, I think that's like being born or something. So I think that's one. Mortality, definitely. So I think it's this last one, process of elimination. Maybe, maybe I'm right. All right, question number two, process of growth is maximum during log phase, log phase, senescence, dormancy. Well, this means sleeping, so it's not that. Senescence, I don't know what that means. Lag is like when things go slow in video games, so that, that can't be it. Um, I'm, I'm just gonna go with log phase because I've never heard of that before. I've, I've noticed these questions are testing you on what you know, right? There's not really much analysis. Like you either know the answer or you don't, or you can, I guess, reason between the answer choices, but it's not asking you to analyze anything. Question four, match the following diseases with the causative organism and select the correct option. Oh, um, I, I don't remember this. Well, salmonella is like, it's in food, right? And I know that's not typhoid, pneumonia, or malaria. So I think whatever has three with C, no, sure, why not three? Let's, why not? These are very particular questions. Like you don't know it, you just don't know it. Starting here, this is like a population question going to, again, population and then plants. And then here talking about micro or like, this is so many different topics in just a couple of questions. And you're responsible for knowing all of this in high school. I mean, if you're studying for this right now, I feel kind of bad for you. <laughs> This is hard to remember all this stuff, especially at that age. Oh, I, I think I know this one. Correct pair from the following. Ligases, join the two DNA molecules. That sounds pretty good. I like that choice. Two hours later. Okay, so those are my 10 in biology. Now let's, let's score them. Let's see how we did. So question one is four. Okay, got that right. Question two is one. Got that right. Okay, good job. Three is one. <sighs> It's okay, we'll, we'll recover. Question four, two. <sighs> Question five, one. Question six. Um. One hour later. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five out of 10. Five out of 10. For the amount of guessing I did, not bad. So thoughts about biology, well, pretty straightforward, honestly. If I'd done like a lot of studying, I'm sure I could have answered these questions because they would have come up in my studying. I just haven't studied this stuff in a long time. So that's probably why I don't remember it. But at the same time, like these are kind of specific. Like even if I'm studying, maybe I might forget a particular thing. And these questions are like so specific that you can't really reason through things. You just have to either know it or you don't know it, which is kind of difficult. So five out of 10 on biology, let's jump into chemistry. Okay, so we got 10 questions here on chemistry. Let's attack. An increase in the concentrations of the reactants of a reaction leads to change in... Okay, I majored in chemistry, so I should know this. Activation energy does not change. Heat of reaction does not change. Threshold energy does not change. Collision frequency, that will change because 
If there's more concentration, there's more collisions. Okay. A mixture of N2 and AR gases in a cylinder contains 7 grams N2, 8 grams argon. Oh, and they give you the two atomic masses. Thank you. Got about 15 estimate. I think that's right. Identify the correct statement from the following. What is pig iron? What, what even is that? Blister copper? I've never heard of that. I have, I have no idea. I'm gonna go with this. Ooh, organic chemistry? Oh my gosh. So you gotta know organic chemistry in high school. So in the US, usually organic chemistry is taught in college, you know, when you're 18 or 19 or 20. But in India, it looks like you gotta learn this stuff in high school itself and be able to apply it on this exam, which is hard. Which of the following is a cationic detergent? Sodium lauryl sulfate. <sighs> See, this is straight memorization. I have no clue though. Probably just gonna time lapse this because it might be kind of boring, but I'll show you how I did it at the end. And you can honestly take it alongside me if you'd like. Okay, time to score this, all right? So 109 is four, okay, good, good. 110 is three, okay, awesome. 11 is four. Pig iron, I've never heard of pig iron before. Whatever, didn't do as hot as I thought I would. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five out of 10 again, five out of 10. Five out of 10 on biology, five out of 10 on chemistry, we're at 10 out of 20 right now, sitting right at that 50%. Not feeling too great, but not feeling too terrible. Again, it seems like they're testing very specific concepts and like you just gotta know it for some of these things and you don't really have a lot of application. Time for physics, okay? Physics is my least favorite, my worst subject by far compared to biology and chemistry. So if I've been making five out of 10s on those, I'm, I'm concerned. Okay, so which of the following graphs represents the variation of resistivity with temperature for copper? Okay, I'm gonna guess it's not one. Okay, it's not one. There's two coming down, so I think that's a good sign. It's gonna be either two or four. I'm gonna go with two. It just seems right. The color code of a resistance is given below. What is a color code? I've never learned this before. In Young's double split experiment, if the separation between coherent sources had halved and the distance of the screen was doubled, the fringe width becomes Oh man, okay, this is an application question right here, I think. This is this is difficult. If you know the formula, I think it's easier, but if you don't, this makes it pretty difficult. No, but I think it's either this one or this one. I'm not surprised if I get a zero on this section. Capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor with air as medium. I feel like I'm guessing on like all these questions. Let's go with this one. When you're in doubt, guess C. Dimensions of stress? What? Light of wavelength 600 is coming from a star. The limit of resolution of telescope whose objective has a diameter of two. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so I officially guessed on every single question in the physics section, so <laughs> we'll see where that takes us. Oh, I'm terrified to grade this thing. 163. 164. Okay, okay, good guess. Okay, I think you guys can add that up for yourselves. Um, anyways, <sighs> as you can tell, physics is my weakest section. That was the, the neat exam, well, part of it, um, and it didn't go too well. But if I did have the time to study for it, I probably would have done a lot better than I ended up doing. At the same time though, having to be responsible for that much knowledge after high school is just insane. You know, in the US, it's just a completely different system in that we really wouldn't be prepared for an exam covering this much material because of just how we're taught. And most of this knowledge is taught to us in college, not in high school. This is a really hard exam to be taking at 17 years old. So is the NEAT a hard exam? Yeah, it's hard. I don't think that the questions in particular are very hard. I just think that it's hard in the sense that there's so much material that they're responsible for in order to learn. And that's the thing that makes it really hard. But yeah, those are some of my thoughts of this exam. Is it more difficult than the MCAT? Well, I'll make another video comparing the two and then I'll answer that question then. But I think that this is a really hard exam and it seems like wherever you are, if you're pursuing medicine, the journey is hard, like very hard. But yeah, after this, like I'm super Super interested by this exam and I'm definitely gonna learn a little bit more about it and so I can compare it to the MCAT. And so definitely subscribe if you want to see the video next week of me comparing 
this NEAT exam to the MCAT exam and seeing what's the same, what's different, and all that kind of stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd love if you could like the video and leave a comment down below on what you thought. Did you empathize with my pain? Or are you studying for this exam right now and going through this process? On this channel, you're gonna find my journey through medicine as well as all kinds of other things that I find interest in. So if you're interested in any of that, I'd love if you could be a part of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Peace.